Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. For this update we are remaining outside the building. We have added the railings which surrounded the entire building. Following the pattern of the building itself, with 24 foot wide cells, these cell walls divided into 8 foot wide panels, the posts supporting the railings are spaced at 8 foot intervals. Gates are placed opposite entrances and exits, the gates having the same pattern as the fixed railings, thus providing a uniform appearance when the gates are closed. The railings along the entire front of the building are 8 foot from the front wall. A similar arrangement exists along the majority of the back of the building. However, at both ends of the building the railings extend further to enclose some exhibits which were deemed too large to include inside. The western end has the largest such enclosed space. The location of the railings is shown in this detailed floor plan kindly supplied to us by the archives of the 1851 Commission. This plan also shows the location of the exhibits here, one of which we have added for this update. John Baisley White and Sons demonstrated this beam of hollow bricks and Portland cement. The aim was to repeat an 1835 experiment conducted at Nine Elms where a beam of solid bricks and Roman cement was loaded to destruction with a load of 50,652 pounds. The dimensions of both assemblies were fundamentally the same, the beam resting on pillars at either end, with beams suspended below on which pig iron could be added to provide the load. Testing of the beam here was started on Saturday the 20th of September 1851 with an initial load of 15,000 pounds. The following Monday the 22nd of September the load was increased, a crack appearing at 41,600 pounds, with the beam finally breaking at 62,800 pounds. Passing out through a gate and continuing round the west end of the building, we come to the cheese ring column. In this photograph you can clearly see the railings and posts. Leaving the cheese ring column and passing the navy anchors and chain and the railway level crossing gates, we travel towards the northwest corner of the building. As we round the corner the final addition for this update comes into view. This chimney appears in several illustrations and photographs, where its emissions are clearly light coloured, so we assume this is some form of steam release. This seems reasonable as it is adjacent to the moving machinery section of the exhibition, and hence must be close to the pipe carrying steam from the boiler house. Watch out for my next video, which will continue to add to the contents of the exhibition.